Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, we're going to get started. We have some fun stuff to do today. So today is Monday, October 26, 2020. And it's an exciting day because tonight is our trunk retreat. So we're so excited to see everybody's trunks, everybody's costumes, and the most fun, the treats. Yeah. And hopefully no tricks. <laughs> hopefully. We never know. Um, so I'm looking out our windows today and it's still a little bit dark, um, but it's short cloud. You can really see a lot of clouds in the sky. Um, so we're gonna go with cloudy. So Miss Becky has our cloudy picture. She didn't have our uh, cloud on our tally sheet. So that just shows me that we've had one cloudy day this week. So does anybody know how many days it is until Halloween? So we're doing our trunk retreat tonight, but that doesn't mean that it's Halloween. Does anybody know how many days? I'll give you a hint. Halloween's on Saturday. No, I'm not sure. All right, let's count and see. So we're here on Monday. And then Saturday's here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five days until Halloween. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Pretty exciting. That is exciting. All right. So Miss Becky's going to go over our rules. Okay. Make sure you're watching the lesson videos, friends. Uh, we put them up every day. Make sure you're watching them and doing the lesson. Keep your listening ears on. Just like in school, listen to me and Miss Amanda on the videos and to your parents. Keep your art supplies together. We use them almost every day. We need them today for something later. Send us pictures so we can be updated on what you're doing and your progress. And we love to see the pictures. And always have fun. And then also parents, don't forget to send in your calendar. Yes. We need those calendars. That is how we track your child's attendance. If we do not have those calendars, your child is marked absent. And remember, they have to meet a certain criteria of percentage um, every month. So it's extremely important that you send those calendars every week. Um, so friends, this week, last week was a review week for the letters D, E, and F. So this week is a brand new week, brand new letter. So we're working on this letter right here. Does anybody know what letter that is? Yeah, you're right. It's the letter G. This is the uppercase G. And the lowercase g. Does anybody have any g words? Can anybody think of any g words? One g word that comes to my mind is the word good. Okay. That's, That's one word that does come to my mind. Does anybody have any other ideas of other words? I can think of one that would be an animal. Oh, and we're talking about pets. So, Miss Becky, what is that? How about a goat? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Where do you guys think a goat would live? Do you guys think a goat would live on a farm or in the city? Where do you think a goat would live? Yeah, you're right. A goat would live on the farm. You can have goats as pets too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you sure can. All right, so Ms. Becky's going to talk to you about um, some more animals. Yes. So we've been talking about pets this month, and today we're going to talk about, we're going to start talking about this week what pets eat. So according to what a pet eats, they're called a certain kind of pet. So I'm going to introduce you to the word herbivore. I bet that's a new word. That's it a is. big word. And it's a big word. It's a very big word. A herbivore, though, is an animal that eats seeds and plants. So what kind of animal do you think would eat seeds and plants? We've talked about some of the animals of what they eat. What does a bird eat? Oh, birds eat seeds. Yeah. So a bird would be a herbivore. Okay. And then, can you think of anything else besides a bird? A hamster, they eat seeds, okay? So a hamster and a bird would 
be a herbivore. That's a really big word. It is a really big word. So you guys should try to say it. It's kind yeah. of hard to say. Yeah, see if you could try to say it. herbivore. And a herbivore eats seeds and plants. And it could be a hamster, a guinea pig, or a bird. Okay, so next we're going to move on to a omnivore. And this is an animal that eats both meats and plants. That's another big word too. Yep. Another hard word to say. See if you can say omnivore. A new word. Right? And a lot of you have this type of pet that would eat both meats and plants. I have three and Miss Amanda has two. So what do you think an omnivore would be? A dog. Yeah. Dogs can eat meats and plants. And then I have one more to share with you. How about a carnivore? Another big word. Probably what do you newer. think a carnivore would eat? They would eat just meat. So what do you think what a carnivore would be? What pet? Some of you might have these pets too. How about a cat? A cat would eat meat. And this pet we haven't talked about yet, but it's called a ferret. And they, they can be pets. Yeah. So maybe we'll try to go over those again this week. Because those are, are kind of tricky and they are huge words. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to talk about this week what other kinds of foods that different pets eat and if they have teeth. And we're going to learn all about that this week, okay? All right, so parents, we're going to do Mighty Minute number 77. Um, friends, we've done this before. Um, so it's basically to the tune of bingo, except instead of spelling out bingo, we're going to spell out smile. So you guys ready? We did it like, what, like a month ago? Yeah. <clears throat> so you might not remember, but I bet once we start doing it, you're going to remember. So it's Mighty Minute number 77. You guys ready? All right, here we go. We laugh and play with all of our friends. And all our friends, we laugh and play with all our friends and smile is what we do. S M I L. Smile is what we do. Perfect. You guys could probably even like change out like that word and smile. Yeah. And maybe like change out the ending, maybe like spell out friends or a friend's name and then just at the end and just be like say your friend's name be like and they are my friend yeah or something just be creative if you can change it up or you can just do keep doing smile and you or you can even do your way with bingo because that's a fun one too um so that's all we have for circle time so we need you guys to go on youtube and listen to the video book the story of burton good book so we'll see you guys soon um for some more activities bye friends bye friends <laughs>